a season to share. It's one of those things that uh, in your community you see a need and you want to fill it. A season of gratitude. If I can help in any way, that makes me feel better. I can sleep better knowing that I'm not just a taker, I'm a giver as well. A season to give. I think the holidays are made for love and giving and supporting one another as a community. It all adds up to a season of powerful connections by our neighbors. This is the Neighbors for Neighbors Holiday Special. Hello everyone, I'm Jade Alexander. As many families gather together around the holidays, we're reminded about what's important. Not the latest tweet from a teen heartthrob or the latest celebrity scandal, but people, your loved ones, your friends, your neighbors, everyday people reaching out to lend a helping hand. It's what Neighbors for Neighbors is all about, connecting those in need with those who can help. In this next half hour, we celebrate South Florida's generous spirit this holiday season. And the giving season started back in October. Brave superheroes, pretty princesses, and furry little monsters. It looks like there were lots more of them this Halloween, and it might have been because of the first annual Neighbors for Neighbors costume drive. Halloween is a fun holiday kids look forward to every year, but some children aren't able to enjoy it. This year it's going to be different. And these students at Conchita Espinosa Academy wanted to do their part to help. This year they'll have a better Halloween because they have costumes. They collected 250 costume donations. The fact that they're giving one of their own costumes, which was so special to them, you know, at one point or another, you know, it gives them ownership in helping another child. Even the youngest of trick-or-treaters helped collect costumes. Eleanor Dickinson and her mom collected over 150 costumes through the Pinecrest School and her ballet academy. When you think about volunteering or donating, you just think about the basics, really. You don't think about the extras that kids really do need, and I think it's extremely important for kids. In all, over 400 costumes were donated, and now these costumes are making new memories for more children children living in homeless centers, and other children whose parents can't afford Halloween costumes. Children don't really understand why they can't have. Not just for Halloween, but all year long, the costumes will help these kids experience the fun of playing dress up and maybe for a few moments, forget the stress of their everyday lives. Their costumes are so high end, they can pass them down to their siblings. So they'll, I think they'll be in service for a couple of Halloweens at least. A South Florida dentist is celebrating 25 years in dentistry in a big way. He reached out to Neighbors for Neighbors for help to mark this major milestone, and we were all smiles about it. We can give away money, we can give away time, I don't think there's anything better that I can do with my two hands than to give away smiles. South Florida dentist Dr. Rick Mars with the Dental Care Group gets ready to work on a very special patient. She's a beautiful lady and uh, we want to give her a beautiful smile. Doreen Weathers is a military veteran and the very first patient in Dr. Mars's 25 Smiles campaign. Neighbors for Neighbors partner organization Dress for Success submitted Doreen's story. When I first met Doreen she had a very bubbly personality. You could sense that underneath everything she had a very, she had a confidence about her, but she kind of held back in expressing herself a little bit because of the things going on in her mouth. Call it an anniversary gift to the community. Dr. Mars is giving away 25 smile makeovers to people looking for a job to mark his 25th anniversary. The smile is really something that people measure you by. It gives you a lot of confidence in a conversation and in a job interview, socially, um, dealing with your friends. Uh, we're going to do some bonding. We need to make Doreen a bridge where she's missing a tooth. Uh, we might end up doing some veneers on her where we have to. And she might need to have even an endodontic procedure to take care of that dark tooth in the front. I'm excited. I can't wait to see the results. Doreen spent five years as a military medical specialist. She's a single mom and works part-time in the Veterans Administration, helping people like her looking for full-time work. I assist the incoming veterans um, with resume writing, um, retrieval of their um, military records, anything pretty much that they need on the computer, and also with um, job hunting. Her smile is basically the missing piece to her puzzle. Dr. Mars is hoping the work he performs on Doreen and all of the 25 Smiles patients will help give them that extra push to land their dream job. 
I'm looking for a full-time position within the health industry. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in health administration and I'm hoping to utilize that and be able to give something back to the um, community. We want the 25 people that walk out of here to give big, huge smiles to the world. It's a blessing that we get to do this to give this away to people. We salute Dr. Mars for his 25 years and for giving back to our community in such a huge way. And that is something to smile about. And here's something else to smile about. Gone for a few years, but definitely not forgotten. Hands on Miami returned and relaunched the organization the only way they know how, by serving our community. More than 150 volunteers gathered at Vizcaya Museum and Gardens. They rolled up their sleeves and spent National Service Day in November clearing the grounds of garbage and invasive non-native plants. Hands on Miami makes it easy and fun for busy people to give back to the community with flexible volunteer opportunities. The organization shut down in 2011 after an economic downturn. The kickoff event marks a new beginning for Hands on Miami, now in a unique partnership with Hands on Broward and support from the Miami Foundation. Neighbors for Neighbors is a proud partner of both Hands on organizations, further connecting those who can help with those in need. Throughout the year, Neighbors for Neighbors holds fundraisers to help continue to make impactful connections in our community. Now there's one special fundraiser that comes around in the fall where we can all let our hair down. Well, actually it's better if your hair is up, teased way up. Take a look at this. Dining with the Divas, a dinner and show featuring favorite performers like Cher, Tina Turner, and Barbara Streisand. Big hair, big fun, all to help raise big bucks for Neighbors for Neighbors. A new trio of dames was introduced to this year's fundraiser. Miami-Dade philanthropist Marilyn Kale, CEO of Leadership Broward, Lori Salarulo, and CEO of Black Tie South Florida, Ginny Fugino. The three ladies got glammed up and took center stage, all in the name of charity, raising over $4,000 for Neighbors for Neighbors Adopt-A-Family for the holidays. This is the ultimate in drag dining. I've been a board member with Neighbors for Neighbors for a few years. It's an incredible organization that really helps people in need. And that's what tonight's all about. It's us at Lips giving back to the community. Still ahead, giving thanks and sharing the bounty of Harvest Drive this year by the shopping cartfuls. And adopt a family for the holidays. It's our biggest year yet. Plus Mario Chalmers dribbles to dream big. And as we go to break, here are some pictures of the Adopt-A-Family for the Holidays program. Adopters delivering holiday cheer to families in need. Welcome back, I'm Jade Alexander. Neighbors for Neighbors came to the aid of a family dealing with a tragic loss. Seven children lost their mother who died suddenly just before Thanksgiving. CBS 4's Joan Murray with their story. They say seven is heaven, but time and Drizdom will need divine intervention and the patience of a saint to deal with his instant family. Oh man, words can't even explain. A little more than a week ago, the children, three girls and four boys between the ages of four and 13, were with their mother, Dorita Boyd. But while shopping for groceries, she passed out. Beautiful spirit. Dorita died two days later after suffering a stroke. She was only 33. It is something that you just don't plan or you don't think about, you know what I mean, especially as a parent. I would have never thought I would have been in a position such as this, but I mean, I just been praying to God. He could talk me through it. He, you know, he didn't give me all of them for no reason. Okay, take your work out. Simon's mother is here for the moment helping out, and his sister has begun reaching out to anyone and everyone to get the children basic needs. They're using sleeping bags for beds. It would be nice if I had my own bed because it's more comfortable than the sleeping bag. Most men would have turned and gone the other way. His first thought was, I'm not splitting my kids. The needs are astronomical, and one of the big concerns is enough food. Right now, there are big boxes of cereal but not a lot more in the refrigerator. Think about trying to buy the food and plan meals for seven hungry kids. The Touch a Heart Foundation took some of the kids shopping over the weekend for pillows, sheets, and towels. I had a picture of the girls and boys with their mom when she was sick in the hospital. It was very sad and it was important to us to be able to help. Sometimes I don't know where help will come from. With so many unknowns, Time and Drizdom can only deal with one day at a time and hope his love will carry him through the journey with his newfound family. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS4 News.
We're so happy to help give this family some hope this holiday season. Making a connection like this, it's what Neighbors for Neighbors is truly about. Connecting those in need with those who can help. And there's nothing like the holiday season to get people in the giving mood. But how do you motivate children and teens to give back? With food and lots of it. Not for themselves, but for others. And boy, did they answer the call for the Harvest Drive. It's children helping children to put food on the table for families in need. Students all over Broward County collected food through Harvest Drive. And it's one of those things that uh, in your community you see a need and you want to fill it. Here, these students from Parkway Christian School load up their collection of canned goods and other household items to be delivered to Western High School in Davie, one of the largest distribution sites. Everyone that you see here today is actually bringing in donations and then sorting. Over 350 families received donations from this site alone, but throughout Broward County, Harvest Drive was able to reach more than 2,000 families, and it's all volunteer driven. This high school senior spent many weekends since September to help collect food for the hungry. For those who can't afford food, it's a necessity in life, and I feel like Everyone deserves a week's worth of food for Thanksgiving. And the lesson of helping a neighbor in need reaches the younger students as well. Just because to help people and make them feel better that people actually care about them. In many cases, these kids receiving donations are their very own classmates. The kid that could be sitting next to them in art class or drama class is in need. This single mom has received groceries for three years and comes back to volunteer every Thanksgiving. If I can help in any way, that makes me feel better. I can sleep better knowing that I'm not just a taker, I'm a giver as well. Now in its 21st year, Harvest Drive is about more than feeding hungry families. It's about meeting the human need to give, to receive, and to share. And the giving continued well after Thanksgiving. Our partners at Publix gave customers a chance to feed South Florida's hungry with the Food for All campaign. Shoppers picked up these tickets at registers to add to their grocery bill throughout the season. The donations are doled out to local nonprofit agencies that help fight hunger. Neighbors for Neighbors is proud to be one of those recipients. The money is used to help families in immediate need of food and other household items. Last year, Publix customers and associates donated more than three point two million dollars to the food for all campaign a special delivery rolled into the YMCA preschool in Alapata and these kids had lots to choo choo about when the folks at college team trains wanted to donate hundreds of their wooden trains to children neighbors for neighbors was happy to help there's nothing wrong with a little nepotism especially when it means bringing happiness to young children it really started with a phone call from my brother who owns college team trains he knew that I was affiliated with Neighbors for Neighbors, and he had many trains that were available for donation. Simply called me and said, hey, John, what can you do with these? We'd like to give them away. And I said, well, you know what? We've got some people that, that could use them. Hundreds of toy trains were donated to the YMCA preschools of Greater Miami. The students at the Alapata YMCA were surprised with their new toys and got right down to business, taking their new trains for a test run. For us is exciting and um, it's priceless to see the faces of the children once they receive these trains or any other donations made by um, companies such as College Team Trains and partnerships through Neighbors for Neighbors. Thanks to their donation, the children will have hours, endless hours of enjoyment. Anytime we can give back to the community and, and see the kids benefit from this, uh, just makes us feel uh, like we're doing our part. And these college team trains are sure to keep on rolling on the right track. They're looking forward to continue to play with them and take them home to share with their siblings. Still ahead, the giving and sharing continues with our Adopt a Family campaign. You might recognize this special adopter. See the championship sized Adopt a Family connection coming up. And as we go to break, here are some pictures of the Adopt a Family for the Holidays program. Adopters delivering holiday cheer to families in need. Welcome back to our show. I'm Jade Alexander. It's the most wonderful time of the year to share the joy of the season. And it's been a record-breaking year for our Adopt-A-Family campaign. And it's all thanks to you, 
the generous spirit of South Florida. Baptist Health South Florida is our Adopt-A-Family sponsor this year, continuing the tradition of serving the community, not only through providing great health care, but fulfilling families' wishes through the Adopt-A-Family campaign. Here are employees in the Endoscopy Outpatient Center in Coral Springs, organizing and wrapping their Adopt-A-Family's gifts. The gifts go beyond toys and games. This family is receiving pots and pans, dish soap, and a family meal. And for Baptist Health Health, being a part of Adopt-A-Family for the holidays goes hand in hand with their mission. Not just providing the clinical piece, but also the social piece, the community piece, being part of where we serve clinically and medically, but also addressing any other needs that they have. It's fulfilling for everybody that works here. Many companies, offices, and schools adopted our families through the Adopt-A-Family campaign. For two decades, viewers like you have connected with needy families to bring them much needed cheer for the holidays. It is something that is extremely gratifying about giving without expecting anything in return. It's just, it's just a good feeling. It's Shannon Barrett's first time participating in the Neighbors for Neighbors Adopt a Family for the Holidays program. Honestly, I've never done this before, um, and the idea of meeting the family face to face was something you can't get anywhere else. It's a feeling that I never in experienced before. And so if anybody's never done this, it's something that they, they really do have to do. It is something that is extremely gratifying about giving without expecting anything in return. She works for Principal Financial Group, a company whose employees adopted 50 families. And every year we do something to try to help the community. So this year we decided to go ahead and uh, join the organization Neighbors for Neighbors. Shannon immediately connected with the family she adopted. This spoke to me because Sylvia, who is the mother of, of the family that I adopted, had breast cancer. And my mother died of breast cancer, so that spoke to me a little bit. And she's also a domestic violence uh, survivor, so that kind of spoke to me a little bit as a woman. And she's a strong woman raising children on her own, and I thought I could help her. Shannon took the family to Publix to buy groceries for Thanksgiving week. Muy agradecida, agradecida de, de corazón. Por mis niños, por mí, muy agradecida, muy agradecida. Le agradezco muchísimo. Yo como mamá quisiera darles de todo, pero no, lamentablemente no, no podía sin la ayuda de ellos. I thank her for what she's doing right now, that thank God for her, we will be able to have some stuff for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And Shannon hopes to stay connected throughout the year. I really believe that it's not so much just a holiday thing for me. I want to do this continually. In all, 402 families were up for adoption through the Neighbors for Neighbors Adopt a Family for the Holidays program. And all 402 families were adopted. Let the pictures speak for themselves. Just look at the joy shared through the Adopt a Family program. Sharing the spirit of the holidays, there's just no better feeling. Our next adopter feels the same way. Twice he's won the NBA championship and twice he's come to Neighbors for Neighbors to help out with Adopt a Family. Miami Heat star Mario Chalmers and his foundation adopted a YMCA basketball team and inspired these kids to dream big. Here's CBS 4's Jim Barry. Mario Chalmers is used to hearing cheers from the home crowd, but this was different. At the South State YMCA, Chalmers really was home because it was at a Y in Alaska where 10-year-old Mario took his first shot. We all went to school together. We all got our homework done together. And then after school, we all went to play basketball together. Miami is a long way from Anchorage. But Chalmers knows that in the minds of these kids, the ambition is the same. His goal is to show these kids how to dream big. Chalmers for three. Chalmers' dream has become a basketball fairy tale. He's one of the few players to win a championship in high school, college, and the pros. The kids at this event walked away with plenty of goodies, but also a message that Chalmers hopes will last them a lifetime. Never let anybody tell you that you can't do anything. You know, the main thing in my foundation is dream big. That means have big dreams and always go for what you want. To hear his message about staying in school and being a good sport and playing on a team, I mean, that's, that's wonderful. Chalmers was just voted into the Alaska Sports Hall of Fame. That tops another honor that his native state gave him last year. You were voted the sexiest man in Alaska. Yeah, I was. Uh, <laughs> that's another big honor, you know, to represent my state on, on that category. You know, I try to do what I can do. <laughs> what do you do when somebody votes you the sexiest man of anything? Um, just accept it, smile, uh, keep trying to be sexy.
Thanks to Mario Chalmers and to all of our adopters this year. What a difference you've made in the lives of families right here in South Florida. Our neighbors, the gift of sharing, the gift of giving, the gift of memories that are sure to last a lifetime. Well, we've come to the end of our show. We'd like to thank our generous supporters and underwriters for helping Neighbors for Neighbors continue to make community connections for our neighbors in need. The Herbert Hoover Foundation, the Children's Services Council, Baptist Health South Florida, CBS4, and MyTV33. We hope these stories have touched and inspired you. They represent only some of the good Neighbors for Neighbors does all year long, and we couldn't do it without you, our viewers, our neighbors. Your generous contributions allow us to help family in crisis rebuild their lives. Donations are tax deductible and you can go onto our website at neighborsforneighbors.org to make a secure credit card contribution. If you'd like more information, please call our phone bank at 305-597-4404. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jade Alexander. Happy holidays and make it a great year in 2014.